So guys welcome to another gardening video on my channel my name is Spokes guys we have we have, uh, we have some good news and we have some bad news pick yeah <laughs> you the bad news is that we have some tomato blight all I know are the like the the symptoms of tomato blight and my tom and my tomatoes have really suffered from it so i'm gonna show you the three ways in which to either decrease the amount of blight prevent it from coming i hope you enjoy the video and i hope it's helpful so as you can see here these tomatoes have been really suffering from tomato blight they've been suffering a lot so basically if you have tomato blight your leaves the tomato leaves start becoming uh like this way it's very spotty you know it's not just the dryness it's very it becomes very spotty and as you can see this one still hasn't fully recovered from it and as you can see here there's some you know it's just very spotty you know and also the tomatoes um start dying off too early because the season i mean it's it's coming to winter soon but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be this affected and as you can see here they just you know it's just bad <laughs> here's another example of what the the what tomato blight might look like so as you can see with the leaves they start getting they start getting these these patches you know they start experiencing these patches like these little small um dots on there they become more prominent and they start eating the they start eating the the plant and it really it's very invasive so if you can look at this one this one had tomato blight and it was really bad it was actually very bad um how much so yeah i'm gonna show you i'm gonna tell you a way that which you can get you can still revive your tomatoes but unfortunately sometimes you know it doesn't work out that way as you can see with these ones um i've tried to to use the same method but they it wasn't successful so yeah man even this one i think you know the the upper growth the new growth is looking a lot healthier so it might work on this one but the bottom you can uh, you can see you can see it's just you know and then i also wanted to just show you <laughs> i also just wanted to show you one of the other tomatoes that are doing so well um yeah you know it's it's looking good it's looking good okay guys so the first thing that i would do or my first tip is that you trellis the tomatoes now if you know me you know that i don't really like trellising so this was uh this was kind of like a new thing for me uh even though i've done it before but it, you know i've always just preferred not to trellis so i had to trellis these ones uh this is the new grow this is the one that grew um and even now you can see that it i'll kind of zoom in uh but you can kind of see you can already see that some tomato blight is already growing on it so you know i'm gonna probably do the same method that i used and then so that trellising that's number one yeah stake it and then just tie it around what i did was that i just next to the stake I, I tied the tomato next to the steak and that's it you know yeah just to make sure just to make sure that the leaves are not touching the ground and also i would also prune the bottom leaves so from you know it just has to have some type of um air or it has to have some type of space in between the ground and you know the the leaves so what i would do is just uh, as you can see here there's little lesions and things here 
if you can yeah as you can see there's little uh lesions where i where i uh, cut where i pruned some of the places i even should have pruned this one better as well because as you can see here there's a, a sucker that's growing really from another one yeah so that's how i prune and uh trellis the tomatoes okay so my third tip i mean my second tip is that you get rid of any dead leaves right so as with tomato blight as you can see it really it deteriorates the leaves and just literally makes them completely die off so the easiest way is to um is to get rid of the dead leaves and this will stop or kind of con uh, contain it from spreading too much I think I did it a bit too much from with these ones because you know but these ones are like really gone um, so yeah man I think the, the best tip is just to get rid of any of the dead leaves or the yellowing leaves that you have yeah either leave it you know throw it in a separate thing from the compost or yeah I think I would say that just to be on the um, to be on the safe side so yeah guys my third tip would be um, my third tip and I think the most helpful one would be to would be to make a concoction to spray on your leaves and to just so that the tomato drinks it. Basically the concoction will stop the bacteria from growing. So what I would use is a liter of warm water mixed with two tablespoons of uh, baking soda or bicarbonate of soda uh, pour that in mix it up mix it up have some dish soap put it on there so that uh, the mixture also um, sticks onto the leaves and then just spray it spray it on your leaves and make sure that you know it gets enough what I would suggest is that you do it every two weeks just to keep it in balance and not to throw it or not to throw it off too much so these methods have worked for me in this thing so that's why i was really excited to kind of share it with you guys and i hope they work for you guys you know i did some research i said brr, brr, research you know um so i hope i hope it actually works for you guys um and if you guys want to let me know if you guys would like my content let me know put it in the comments and also suggest any videos that you may want to see and yeah man you know we have 21 days so ask away I love you guys all. Love, peace, grow something.